Jaya Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is your experiences shape your perception of reality. Um, you know, the way I look at it is this. We are a personality, right? You are a spirit, you are all these things, you are connected and everything. But this filter that you see right now, this body, this mind, is the result of experiences, of life experiences. When I was born, it's like my spirit and my mind is a little bit like in a virgin state. And yes, of course, there is all the DNA transmitted, there is the education and the influence of the environments that I'm in, but basically this is what happens. My mind and my body get conditioned by my experiences. And so, if you have been living in a certain part of the world and you have been exposed to certain experiences, when uh, you um, you you see reality or you see events or you see things happening around the world, your experience or your conditioning is going to influence or create through the filter of your mind a certain energetic resonance or a certain set of feelings that are the result of who you have been trained to be. This is very important to understand because not we all have a different set of training, conditioning, and experiences in our lives. And so, when you see people arguing about what is right and what is wrong, here is what I feel, and somebody comes and says, you should not feel that, or here is the thought you should have, here is the idea that you should have, because it's my idea. But your idea is an expression of your own perception through the, your own filter of your own mind, through your own experiences. How has this mind been shaped? It has been shaped through your life. And somebody else's life will shape their mind according to a different uh, set of beliefs, feelings, ways of filtering life. A certain experience that might scare you might not scare somebody else because they haven't been exposed to the same experiences. It's really that simple. So when uh, we understand that, that your mind, okay, your whole um, dynamic structure of your personality is a filter that interprets reality all the time. Basically, you are taking reality and then filtering it, and then through that filter, creating a story that is sometimes a mental story in the form of words, but sometimes it's in the form of feelings, impressions, and, and those impressions are going to impact in your system and create a certain reality, which is your own perception of reality. And so, when you understand this, it gets, it gets way, way easier to, you know, to understand why we have different opinions and different feelings on things. This is the beauty and the diversity of human life. And yes, we have lots of similarities, but basically what I'm saying here is that uh, you as a human being, you are going to, to filter life. Through that filter of your mind, you are touched by beautiful energies, and th through the filter of your experience, you are going to create a reality that might be a very different reality than somebody else's reality. And so when you're trying to convince that person that their perception is not right, what you're saying is like, I have a different experience. My agenda or my reality is different than yours because I have been conditioned in a different way. So simply remember that because we don't need to all think the same thing. We don't need to have the same feelings about certain things. The diversity of the human race has precisely to do with the fact that we have been impacted by different sets of life experiences. And this created our filter, it created our conditioning, and it's through the conditioning of our minds that we perceive reality. And if you go back a little bit more to the source, of course, then you are going to access this place of truth that is untouched, that you feel doesn't depend on your experiences. Apparently, you know, apparently that's what you think. But when you look at it, you know, go deeper into that. And you realize that, you know, no matter what, when even what I call my truth, right? When if I say, this is my truth, <laughs> it's still being filtered. My words are English, French, Spanish, when I, when I want to speak other languages. But 
the point is this is that it's still an interpretation to the field of my experience somebody who is born you know somewhere in the in the forests of Siberia farmer over there is not going to, to interpret reality in the same way as I do his truth are going to be different than mine of course they will and eventually we go back to the essence essential points and we go like okay love 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 is a good thing for the planet and humankind okay yeah we agree on that everybody agrees you know there might be some dissonance but basically we can agree back to on this truth but on things more subtle like we are surrounded by alien life forms that have been watching over the evolution of the planet and humankind since the beginning of time okay you see i mean that's my truth that's something that i believe that i feel internally is the result of my experiences as well if somebody comes and says you're completely delusional i say well you know i had experiences in pyramids in other places in mystical places in temples where i felt an activation or certain visions that became my reality and so you see i mean it's a whole it's a whole reality that we create and uh, which is the result of our experiences so to summarize that back to the essence is your experience shapes your perception of reality yeah remember that it's an important point so that we don't enter into you know endless debates around things it's like we have different experiences of reality and therefore we are going to have different opinions and different perceptions of life i love you